it's kind of a breath of fresh air for right now. I feel like it's also something that you just, it feels sometimes like you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. So you're just trying to enjoy every single day that you have and, and just hope that it continues. Um, so I think that over time it's gonna get better and it feels more normal, but it definitely just feels like we're trying to take advantage of every day that we have. I'm so excited. I think my class especially, we've been waiting for this, but I can say that our senior year right now isn't what we thought it would be. So we're just taking every moment that we have not taking it for granted, just working as hard as we can. And just, I know we're all really excited just to get traveling. I know we're really excited just to get on the bus and be around each other. It's really weird. My class is the only class that's experienced a regular season. And now we're seniors and we've only had one. So we feel kind of behind a little bit, but I think our, our team has done a really good job of adjusting. And I think it was rough the first semester that we got sent home. But ever since then, like, I can really tell that we've been growing and we're really excited to have a full season. I think I learned that they are definitely competitors last year, but the hard part was they just didn't know each other as well. And I think that over the last six months, that's been the main focus, is trying to get them away from the quarantine mindset and not seeing each other, being in isolation, when we really didn't have many road trips last year. So taking advantage of the time that we do have together, especially in the fall and now, to spend a little bit more time together to get to know each other on more than just the surface level. Um, kind of find out what makes everybody tick and then let that culture and let that cohesion sort of grow together over the first few weeks. Honestly, I think it was chemistry. I think it was very difficult with COVID and everything to get to know each other. Isolated from one another, you got to know your roommate really well, but honestly nobody else. Um, and it caused some issues in the beginning, um, just butting heads and stuff, but we've gotten to go bowling together, like just do random fun things. And I think that it's gonna help a lot with our on-field chemistry as well. Culture is just something that we've continued to build these past four years for me. So I think that's something that has become really far along and I think is the best prepared us for this season. So last year with hitting, it was, I think we were very timid. So we would get plenty of runners on, but we would never be able to push them across the plate. And I think that just comes down to being able to handle pressure in intense moments. I think the difference between last year and this year at this point is that confidence has risen. And now we understand what it takes, what it's gonna be like. Um, obviously we're adding about 20 more games than what we had last year. So we have more of an opportunity for growth, more of an opportunity to learn about each other. So hitting is only gonna keep getting better the more at bats we get, the more teams that we see and the more opponents we face that are gonna challenge us. We gonna crush the ball. I think the main focus is playing together for each other. Um, with center term just happening, a lot of us, myself included, were gone. And so I haven't seen them in two months. Um, and all of our seniors were gone actually, so our juniors really had to step up. Um, but I think taking that field together again, finally being together again, and just remembering to play for each other, I think that's gonna help us the most. I think just not thinking too much about the game of softball. We all know how to play softball. We've played almost our whole lives. So just not putting pressure on ourselves and just going out there and taking advantage of the fact that we get to be on a softball field. We get to be around each other and play a full um, seven innings. I mean, they had the biggest challenge of any class we've ever really had before. Our seniors have done a fantastic job of really taking the situation we have and just making the best of it because they're facing things nobody's ever really faced before. So they could have easily come out and, and isolated a little bit more and not been as vocal, but I think in their minds, they know that we are capable of so much more than what we accomplished last season, and they're just looking forward to a bright future and being around each other. So for them to step up the way that they have, um, and obviously our juniors as well, but it, a lot of it falls to our seniors um, that have done a really good job, not just being vocal, but being supportive and creating an environment that everybody wants to be a part of. Yeah, they've been faced with, I think, things that none of us ever thought we would have to face. So they've all been taking it really well. They're, we're continuing to build our confidence like in ourselves, but also with each other. I think that's one thing that we're all really ready for in this season. I think we're all really confident in ourselves and in the players that are around us. So just making sure that they you know, stick with that and continue on whenever you know, my class graduates. They take up most of our team still, so <laughs> there's a lot of them. I think the thing I learned most from their class is how to be teammates with differences. I know in my experience, I've usually gravitated towards people who are similar to me, play like me, but obviously there's 12 of them. They all take it differently. They all do different things. And especially from like a leadership standpoint as a senior, I've had to learn a lot about how to talk to certain people, give them advice, give them critiques in a way that they will respond to, and just how to interact with each other better. I think that they do that really well.